Hi, my name is Robbie, and I'm going to show you a fantastic tool called Weebly. Weebly is a WYSIWYG website creation tool. You don't have to code anything, you just drag and drop your elements to build your site. In other words, what you see is what you get. There are a lot of them out there, but Weebly is my favorite because you get a lot of features for free, and they have some nice built-in features for teachers. So, let's go to education.weebly.com and create an account. Go ahead and skip whatever steps you need to so we can go straight into creating our website. And it'll ask you what the focus of your site is. We're gonna stick with just a basic site. We can change it later if we want to. In fact, I'll show you how to switch it to a blog. But let's just start with a regular site here and it'll ask you to choose a theme. You'll be able to change the theme later so don't worry too much about it for right now. So this screen is asking for a subdomain. In fact, that's what you're going to want to do is use a subdomain of Weebly.com, which is basically the website that you're going to be at. Weebly is the domain, and then the name that you come up with will be the subdomain. So come up with something that will be easy for your students to remember. And we're just going to skip this, build my site. It wants you to drag elements onto the page, but before we do that, I'm just going to click somewhere else. I'm going to show you the basic layout. So over here you see all the elements that you can throw on your website. There are a lot of them. We'll cover them in a moment. So up at the top you have build, which is this page right here. You have design, which is where you can change your theme, change your fonts. You can even change your background if there is one, change your color. And if you know anything about HTML and CSS, you can go in there and especially the CSS, you can just go straight in there and edit things, change colors, but that's really only if you know what you're doing. You can go to the pages to add pages, delete pages, change page names, and you'll see that Weebly has already set us up with a home, about, and contact. So back to the build page, we're actually going to start adding content to our website. Like I said, there are a ton of elements that you can use, so I'm just going to show you a few that will be the most helpful to you. So to create a decent home page, I'm just going to drop an image, just a single image, right here. And then I'm going to add a title to the right of the image. Notice the blue line shows me where it will appear. And then I'm going to drop text on here. And it appears that I didn't quite do it exactly how I wanted to. Instead of deleting this with the X, I can just move it with this little button right here. And in order to get it underneath the title, which is what I want, I want that blue line right there. Let go. And it looks like that's kind of what I was going for. I'm going to just move this over so my image isn't quite so big. And this will be just a welcome. Welcome to my website. And this will be more of a welcome. I'll talk about how great this class is, how excited I am for the year, even if both of those aren't quite true. And then I'll upload an image. If I have an image that represents my class or if it's of myself, I can upload it here or I can search for something. And one of the cool things about Weebly is that it will automatically attribute any image that you search for. So I'm going to click on free photos and you can see down here free photos are available via Creative Commons license. So let's just throw this base one on there and there it is. I can resize it fairly easily. One last thing that I want to put on my home page is I want it to be extremely easy for parents to contact me. So I'm going to throw a contact form on here. I'm going to put it, let's put it underneath that welcome message. And this is a way that people can send me a message without having to go into their email. They're on my website, fill out this form, and it will send me an email to whatever email I use to sign up for Weebly. Next up, I want to make a assignment page for my class. If I have multiple classes, I can make multiple pages. For right now, let's go up to pages. I don't need an about page, so I'm just going to call this assignments. I don't like headers. I'm going to hit save and edit. So here's my assignments page. First I'm going to drop a title on there and this will be my unit title. So under the title I'm going to use a file element. It's under media file. Even though it says doc you can really drop any kind of file you want. So I'm going to drop it there and then click here to upload file and I can upload a worksheet 
that students will have to fill out. It could be a permission slip. It could be anything. And then it will show up on this page that students and parents could download. And I can just drop a whole bunch of these files. And there's my whole unit's worth of worksheets. And then when I'm ready for my next unit, I'll just drop a new title over here to make a new column. And then I can go back to dropping files on here. Make sure it's under unit two so it gets under there. And it looks like I need to drop these up under unit one. Now another way you could go about this is by using text. So I can put text directly under unit two. And this is where I could describe the unit. I could write the name of an assignment and then describe it here. Maybe I have an online textbook or some video that's out there that I want to link to. I can drop a button on here and then just click on it, go to the link and paste my URL right there. Or if I don't want to actually put a button on there, I can highlight a piece of text, click on the little chain link right here, and it's the same thing. I'll create a link. And if you want, if you just have like two columns and you want to throw another unit on there, try a divider. It'll just draw a horizontal line. I can drop the text underneath that. And here is my unit three. So it's pretty simple to create an awesome list of assignments that your students can access from home. Next up, I want to show you how to create an online disclosure page. We'll go up to the pages and I don't need a contact page because I put the contact on my home page. I'm going to call this disclosure. Save and edit. One simple idea would be to just drop a file on there and that's the disclosure document. But if you want to make life easier for your students and especially their parents, you can actually recreate your disclosure document online and then you won't even need to print them to begin with. So all I'm using to recreate the disclosure document are titles, text, and dividers. Now let me tell you about a powerful tool in the Weebly toolset called Embed Code. Embed Code basically enables you to put anything that has an embed code into your website. Some common examples of other websites that give you embed codes are Vimeo and YouTube or Google Calendar or in this case a Google Form. I created a Google Form of a disclosure form. And, and I can embed that directly into my website. So you'll see that I'm just pasting that code into this element and when I click outside of it, and there's my disclosure form. So when you copy that code, you can play with the width and the height, make it fit perfectly in here on your website. Okay, one last thing for your teacher site is to create a blog. I'm not nearly organized enough to have all of my assignments on a page up front. I know a lot of teachers that are that's not me. So I'm going to go to pages and hit add page and choose blog this time. And I want this blog to be instead of my home page, so I just drag it up here. So let me show you how the blog works. You can edit the sidebar with any of these blog sidebar things. And then to create a post, you hit new post. And it basically looks just like any other page on Weebly. You've got this space where you can drag any sort of element. So if I want to post a video that my students are supposed to watch at home, I can just drop my embed code on here and paste the code from my video or even use the YouTube if that's what I use. You can drag text on there, you can put a file on there for them to access and then go ahead and click save or publish live. When it's done, your students will be able to see the latest blog posts now, so far, we've just been building a website, but it's not actually online yet. What you need to do to put your website online is click this bright orange publish button up at the top. And the first time you do this, it'll want you to verify your subdomain. And then you click OK, and then it will publish it, and you'll see your custom URL. Click on it, and you'll see your live website. This is the website that people can visit, and it actually exists. Once I've published, if I go back and make some changes, those changes will not appear on my live website when I go visit it until I hit publish again. So that's a nice feature because you can make a lot of changes at once and you will never have an unfinished website. You can make sure your website is good to go before you hit publish, but it also creates problems because people forget to hit publish once they do make changes. I hope you enjoy using Weebly and I hope it actually adds value to your class.